I call this process life goals. And the purpose of it is to get clear in each of the four areas of your life. Now, splitting your life into four areas is as old as the sun. This is just the way we look at it and the way we've decided to split your life up. And we'll go through what that means. But remember, these are 90-day goals. So if you look at the word life, you've got love, which is your relationships. Influence, which is your mind. Finance, which is obviously your business. And then energy, which is your body. So what we're going to do through this process is create three 90-day goals in each of these four areas. When we're looking at those three goals, it's important to make one of them a results-based goal and the other two an activity-based goal. So what do I mean by that? So a results-based goal is I want to weigh 200 pounds. I want to have 13% body fat. I want to make $150,000 this year. I want whatever. And again, breaking that down to 90 days, you would say, I want to make this much money in the next 90 days. I want to lose this much weight in the next 90 days. I want to read this many books in the next 90 days. So obviously, at the end of that, you'll be able to be able to tell very easily, did I do it or did I not? That's the results-based goals. The activity-based goals is the things that you're doing on a daily basis in order to get to those results-based goals. So it could be, you know, with your body, I'm going to run three times a week for three miles. You know, getting super specific. Like I'm not, I'm just going to run a couple of times a week. Like I'm going to run Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's going to be three miles when I do it. I'm going to do it in the afternoon and getting super clear on those things. So the activity-based goals are critically important and are ultimately going to be leading you towards getting to the results-based goals. Your best investments, your greatest investments in your life will be in your relationships, period. End of story. It'll be in the relationships you have. So my question to you is, how are you showing up right now in the area of your relationships? And so when we look at the area of love and relationships, you just have to be honest with yourself and take an audit. Like, how, how am I doing? How am I doing in this area? And understanding that in order to be successful in the area of relationships, that love is a choice and love takes work. But there's a big difference when you look at the work that's going in in investing time versus spending time. Like, oh, I just spent some time with my family or I invested some time in my family. That means like you're putting something into it. And it goes right along with that is this idea of the difference between being present and available. In the area of relationships, the goal is to set three goals for 90 days. These are the things that I'm going to do. And for me, it's just something that I look at every day. Like, I just check it off every day. Did I do it? I either did it or I didn't. Like, but it's very, very, very simple. So a lot of these could be for your spouse or significant other. A lot of them could be for your kids. A lot of be for relationships. One of mine was a date night with my daughter uh, once a week on Sundays. I would do a date night with her. And it didn't happen every Sunday, but it happened more Sundays than it didn't. But only because I put this process in place. It would have never happened had I not had this process set in place. Let's move on to the second point, which is influence, which is the mind. Um, you know, success does not create happiness. Happiness creates success. And in my life and in many of others that I've observed, I've found that happiness really comes from progress like being able to feel like you're making progress, any progress. Like it doesn't have to be substantial or an insanely fast progress, but it's being in a, in a place where you're experiencing progress is what makes me happy. And having this process in place is one thing that helps me do that because I know exactly if I'm on track or if I'm not. And so when it comes to these three goals that you're setting, you're gonna have to be super specific. Like I'm gonna read a book a month or I'm gonna read 10 pages a day. Like that's what I'm doing right now. Like I read 10 pages a day. I don't do audiobooks anymore. I'm just physically, I'm reading 10 pages a day. And, and I have a checklist. So at the end of the night, if I'm laying down to go to sleep, I look at my checklist, I'm like, crap, I haven't read my 10 pages. So I'll jump out of bed and go read it, begrudgingly at times, and I'll go to bed. Because then I can feel like I finished, like I was done, like accomplished what I was supposed to accomplish for the day. And so again, the, the whole goal in this process is to get crystal clear on these goals, not just to make these big statements like, I'm going to become more happy. Well, how are we going to do that? I'm going to become more, you know, focused on self-development. Well, what does that look like? I'm going to attend one conference a month. 
I'm going to listen to one YouTube or watch one vi YouTube video each day, you know, to get motivated. A uh, big thing on that is make sure that the stuff that you're watching, that you're not, ex you're not using that as something, as an accomplishment. Like, so a YouTube video, it's motivating and I go to it and it's great. But then if I just kind of like get my bag and go home afterwards, I didn't do anything. So like the whole goal of being motivated is to get motivated to go actually do something. So moving on to the third area, which is finance, that's your business. And so obviously we're in the first quarter of the year. The big question is, do you have clear measurable goals for your business this year? Those you gotta have. And then the second question is, are you on track towards them? So in the life insurance business, we're pretty fortunate because it's super easy to break our goals down. But in any business, like you have to know your numbers. You have to know the things that have to get done in order to achieve your goals. And so like with insurance, if I wanna make X number of dollars per year selling life insurance policies, I just figure out, okay, the average life insurance policy creates this much commission. Okay, great. So I gotta sell this many policies over the year and break that down for the quarter, month, week, and even by the day. Then we further look at, okay, well, what's my conversion ratio? If I sit across the table from somebody, what's the percentage of time that they buy? Okay, great. Well, in order to sell that many policies, that means I need to see that many people. Then break it down even further than that and say, how many phone calls does it make? How many cold calls does it make? How much prospecting do I have to do to be able to sit down in front of that many people? You just run those numbers, and now all of a sudden you can figure out every single day what I have to do in order to get to my weekly goal, then get to my monthly goal, my quarterly goal, and then the goal for the year. And you're always able to know exactly where you're at. You have to know your numbers. You can't just throw these goals out like, I want to make $250,000 this year. Great. How are you going to do it? I'm going to work really hard. I thought you worked really hard last year. Like, it's not a specific plan. You gotta get this stuff broken down. Like how many contracts am I gonna have to get? How many new clients am I gonna have to bring on? And so when we think about this idea of having these goals, like, like what would it feel like to be able to wake up every day and know exactly where you were? Like I'm either a little off track or I'm actually a little ahead of schedule. To know exactly where you were in your business but more importantly, to be able to know exactly what you have to do to either make up from where you're behind or to continue pushing forward because you're ahead. But you know, the exactly, you know exactly what you're supposed to do every day. So let's move on to the, the last area, which is your body. You know, the, the quote everyone's heard, how you do anything is how you do everything. It's never more true than with your body. That the way you treat your body, that the discipline that you have with your body the excuses that you make in regards to your body are the same excuses that you're making in every single other area of your life. So the question is, how do you feel right now with the current condition of your body? Like how, the biggest correlation probably is between your mind and your body, especially for someone that's you know, out of shape, overweight, which I have been in the worst shape of my life in the current business that I'm in. I've been in the best shape of my life in the current business that I'm in. And I can tell you my mindset when I was in the worst, I was a completely different person than when I was in the best. My production, when I was in the worst shape, was completely different than when I was in the best shape. Like, what's your purpose behind even wanting to come to a conference like this? What's your purpose behind even wanting to get better? What's your purpose behind wanting to get clear on these four areas of your life? Because I can tell you this process is not gonna be easy. There's gonna be times where you just don't feel like doing this thing that I wrote down. Why did I write it down? Why did I write it down five miles, not three miles? Now I'm tired and I don't wanna do it. Like there's gonna be mo moments where you don't wanna do it. There's gonna be moments you wanna quit. And it's in those moments when you have to get back to what the purpose is, like what the reason for it is. And for a lot of you, it's gonna be your family, your spouse, your kids, things like that. But to be able to, in that moment, when I do not feel like doing something, but I'm gonna to choose to do it anyways, it's pulling on that as your driver and as your motivator and like, oh yeah. So that's why this process is so important for me. It's been life-changing and it's been life-changing for those that we've taken through this process. And I challenge you guys today, don't just go home and put this sheet in a drawer and never come back to it. If you really, really take this seriously, find someone that'll hold you accountable to it, then it can absolutely change the rest of your life.